Hello guys, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Ripster Daily Trade Recaps and Teachings. All right guys, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday wrapped up. Decent day today, another another bullish bias day for most of the day. Uh, we will uh, we'll talk about how initially we were looking at the amateur short and then we turn bullish we'll talk about a couple of our losers uh, that did not work and then we'll talk about our solid solid winners led by uh, taiwan sammy and we will talk about the what market is doing what important level where market failed today there was a very important level that market failed and then we'll talk about wix and then we'll also look at uh, smci i'm going to go fast today I have to go somewhere, so I'm trying to wrap up the today's recap early. Just a quick introduction for anybody who's new to my YouTube, new to my Twitter, or new to my community. All these trade recaps and teachings are from either from any trades I share in the community or I share in the uh, YouTube or my Twitter. Uh, we work with repeatable setups. We do not trade random. We we do not trade random. We have our fixed system that thousands of traders across the world use to trade successfully. We can be bullish and we can be bearish. We can be bullish same day and we can turn bearish as well. We don't have a strict bias when we are day trading. So um, every morning, me and our team, we create a game plan. So all the community traders watch this game plan 20 minutes before the market open based upon our support and resistance pivots where price moves up or down. And if there's a good volume and we have a game plan and initial bias and we trade according to that. So we'll look at that today as well and how our place panned out. In addition to that, we also share what is called a day two, day three setup. I handpick this day two, day three setups, which I believe that which had news few days ago or yesterday, they can definitely move today. So we keep eyes on those. And this is a repeatable strategy. I did a free webinar on this as well. In addition to that, we share a support and resistance levels for the crypto stocks like coin and MSTR. You can trade those based upon the EMA clouds and the levels. Most of our most of the traders in the community know our system and they are mostly taking these trades based upon the levels, the guidance and using my repeatable system. I'm usually on a voice first few hours guiding the traders through what I'm seeing, telling about what bias we need to have on market, you know, we're going to long or short and tell, you know, if I see any setup I share, if I'm taking any setup, I, I share that. You know, if I'm in some trade, because I don't take all the trades that I'm going to recap, but if I trade, take, even if I don't take any trade, I still guide my community to make sure they are, they are not missing any market opportunities. And we are trading, um, you know, with that uh, defined setup. So we're going to talk about few setups today. And, and um, let's start, let's start with the SPY QQQ. All right, guys, we're going to start with SPY QQQ this today. So what's happening, guys? So we had a big bounce day yesterday. So this morning, we were ready to see how does market respond? Do we continue to push into the gap or we fail, right? So we're going to take a look how we manage that today. Remember, VIX is still high. If you watch my all my videos and listen to my teachings, VIX is still high. It bounced today from 25. When VIX is at such a high range, the market has very big volatility market has huge range spy qqq trade much more than their average range you can see how big these candles are so the candles are big because of the volatility the range is big the average true range is big and for this reason the options are expensive because market makers make the options expensive because they already know that market can move so much when there is uh, you know so much range so we will talk about that. So let's see what were our levels initially. Let's go back. What were the levels I gave in the community this morning? Spike, I gave levels of 517 support, 521 area resistance, QQQ, 439.30 resistance, and 435.87 support. So, you know, I can um, probably go here and show you the, my timestamped comments. So we can uh, take a look how I was guide, guiding the community today. So, okay. So when we started the day, our initial candles were bearish right we were watching we were bearish initial candles were bearish it was under the cloud the vix was kind of holding up that's why our initial move by the way there's an amateur move there's a trend move we trade first 10 15 minutes as an amateur move which are quick trades then we focus on our trend moves so the amateur move on the spy and qqq initially was bearish so we were short scalping right the short scalps have to be the first five ten minutes you have to be fast for example we were short scalping spy and then spy was um, you know pushing down um, towards 517 from that 519 area right and same for qqqs we were pushing down from 
437s down to the uh, 434s. Then now comes the swipes, right? So again, these are the amateur moves and you have to manage, you have to watch. And as soon as it's swiped, I told everybody we cut the puts, right? So amateur move, again, we are not breaking convincingly down the pre-market levels. We are still up here. So you cannot size up, right? So you have to be fast and see and take your profits. That was a big move. You know, the options move nicely on that on a drop. Now, when the swipes, swipes came back up, I told everybody, cut the puts, get the calls. You know, same for QQQ. I told everybody, cut the puts, you know, and then, you know, we long side, look for the long side. So I can, let's look at, uh, you know. So initially when we were breaking down, we were holding the puts. You know, and then as soon as it pulled, pushed over these, you see when we push over these clouds, that's where we cut the puts, and then we look for the longs because our shorts are not going to work now. You can see the what candles are doing here because we are trying to see if the candle failed, we would have shorted all day. Other thing is spy wick strategy. Spy was not pushing over thirties, thirty twos. Wix was not pushing over thirty thirty twos, so there was no conviction to the short side. You see here. That was our pivot. So I gave a pivot this morning to everyone on VIX that we can trade with wet pivot. Uh, you know, if SPY pushes over 30, 34, uh, sorry, and then we get that, uh, uh, you know, even 32, we get that push. This is the guidance I gave every money in the morning. 30, 32 market bullish. If pushes, we will be bearish. And as soon as this swipe came up, we saw that market is Q, SPY is turning bullish and Q's is kind of breaking down. You see the Q's started to break down. That's when we long it. So that's when you long it right here. And that's when I, you know, I told everybody to get the calls and then SPY started to push. 523 was first target, 524 was second target. Then we were flagging. I told everybody we need to break the flag and then big flag breakout and nice profitable long trade into 526s. So that was our initial morning long trades. Now the second trade was when SPY was pulling down, 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 down. It breaks this 512. You know, we cut the calls. But an important rule that I teach everyone that once we break and reclaim, it's even more bullish. Right? And also when SPY and QQQs are very close together, you can always use the lower risk to long. And that's what exactly happened because SPY was continuously from this bounce, it failed again. VIX failed again. So that means Q's are, uh, SPY is going to go. So you see how VIX is failing and Q SPY is going. So that's when you get back long here again. And then we were breaking the flag again. I was on the voice. I was telling the community that we're going again. So you have to, you know, get into your SPY QQQ calls again. And then there was, uh, there was, uh, there was no reason to cut just to hold. When I told everyone that we are holding the trend, no reason to cut. And let's see how it goes here. So let's see. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. So this flag was the initial morning trade. And then I was out. And then, but a lot of traders in the community were trading. And then I, you know, you can, you can also trade. I was, you know, you can also trade TQQQ, which is basically the market long instead of, um, you know, the options. You can trade those. So when market reclaimed and this bounce of 3450, bounce of 3450. That's a repeatable setup and you get long back again here and then at that time you stay long as long as the trend holds and um, then finally we got this 512 breakdown, you know, and we got a flush, we got a 3450 breakdown, we got a nice flush. You know, I, I even guided, uh, you know, the people on Twitter through this complete process, the how the SPY QQQ moved. So let me show you the complete, uh, the complete one and then, then we'll move to the next one. So in the morning, you see how I'm market was sluggish to start and then market VIX was breaking down market was pulling pushing and I told everybody this is the supply zone we need to break out for market to push and there you go the big beautiful brave flag breakout right and then another flag set up and that's another breakout and VIX was breaking down and then we push into our MTF clouds and then we had our MTF cloud breakout and that was the time then we had a big, big uh, push and then we break 512s and then we trade the puts here and then we, um, you know, even there's a 3450 breakdown, you see price alerts coming in 
and we traded the 30 for 50 breakdown and I all this guidance was all day in the community uh, with the shares uh, we do not trade when the when the spy QQQ is uh, above the clouds we do not short we only short when the trend changes you could completely see the trend changed here so today we made money profitable trades morning puts did work but we made much more in the long side midday long end of day short all day guidance on each breakout you can pause the screen and see the guidance you know and a lot of most of my guidance was on the um, on the uh, voice so you won't see that and then you can see the guidance on spy as well step by step guidance to everyone in the community and we have a lot of spy qqq alerts which goes which which i send a whole day so people can you know see if there's a setup trade long or short based upon that setup so that was it guys um for the market so that was it for the market we can another thing we can see is that uh, spy is not out of words yet after our smci reported the earnings and then we rejected important thing to note here is guys if i show you the spy is one hour chart we we fail to get one hour bullish one hour is still bearish this is still bearish right so i cannot be confident on the long side until my one hour trend changes bullish you need a trend system that tells you that we are bullish or bearish this was what i tweeted as well that i do not like the rejections here i wanted the spy qqq to close over this clouds that's one hour clouds that give me a confidence that we are actually good for the long side and reversal i did not get it and not only that vix stayed so strong turned vix curled here and spy broke down here so that was the short with the wix curl and spy breakdown right so that was a short you made money you know there was a thousand dollar uh, end of the day lot of puts you know went two three thousand dollars so that was a setup but um, but overall i do not like what market did today overall we are not out of the woods we don't you know we are still in a very tricky territory the correction is not done yet um, we had you know one swing we had to cut after hours but overall as long as VIX stays over 25 if VIX breaks out of 28 tomorrow you know we're gonna see more weakness so we just have to watch these 28 and 30 levels for tomorrow uh, very well market is still little scary and still little tricky although there was a lot of strength today but after hours a lot of it all came down so it all depends on tomorrow as I said earlier, I'm going to fast through the place today. Uh, let's look at our CELH repeatable setup. Let's see what I said in the pre-market. In the pre-market, I told everybody long term bullish intraday long over 43. Do not long under 43. Right. So when I saw the strength going over 43, I told everybody to long CELH and we longed it. And when it started to push, I added a little more. But then there was a seller at 44 guys. So that's why these levels are important. They are so important. We have to, you know, watch those levels. You know, I had 43.50, but it was actually this 44 area, which was a seller's. Try to push, try to push, fail both the 10 minute and one hour clouds. I said, stopped out for now, no more interest. Imagine if I did not stop out, we would have lost so much money by the time CELH ended the day. CELH is now trading at 39.50 after hours, but we stopped out here, took our loss, in my community, I do not let anybody take a bigger loss. So CELH was the loser. The, the system, the trade was gap and go. But you see how it came down and the pre-market was so high up. So that's the other reason you could see the weakness that seller was here in this region. So that's why it was a loser and it was never a confident long if it never broke, got out of this range. All right, guys, let's look at TSM today. So what was the plan on TSM? Um, TSM was a long all day for us, even though I got out in mid -bit between and got back in. What was the plan on TSM? Bullish bias versus the MTF cloud. Support 147, resistance 150. I gave this plan in the pre-market to everyone. So started to push. You know, I actually traded the amateur move. You don't have to trade amateur move. Understand what's amateur is trend move. It pushed nicely. You know, it pushed to 152. So, you know, I got like a couple of dollars long, uh, scalped a little. But when it broke the clouds, I got out. But then it came back over MTF versus 150. You take long again. And 150 was our risk. I was out, right? And, and you know, if it was heavy, then we were looking to short it. But just as you saw market became bullish so the system tells no short only long and then i told everybody long watch 
right with the qqq and mtf is breaking down up repeatable repeatable system this is your signal to get long when this is happening right here you get long right over this area 150 was our important level that was your stop you know so that's what i'm saying we go from bull bear bull we we maintain based upon what our system is telling us and after that long all day tsm was long 154 was my next target you know and then we met our 154 target and then i told everybody let it run as long as the trend holds and we even swung it you know we even swung it i swung some shares but when it broke uh, after hours i cut my shares i called my position you can see here because i told everybody tsm swing has earnings risk it initially pushed higher from 154 to 158 with smci but then it came back and then we had to cut it right so the setup on tsm was pretty pretty good gap and go amateur move was a fake out real move gave later mtf clouds 150 psych beautiful setup all right let's look at uber by the way if you're new to the community make sure you read my game plan and uber was one of our top plays today 61 60 was pivot 64 was resistance i told everybody to long on the cloud of pullbacks watch here the support was 61 60. where did uber bounce from uber bounced from 61. what did i say long on cloud pullbacks and when this pulls back to the cloud this is our 3450 setup because the amateur move is bearish and then the trend move is bullish you take a long here you put your stops under 61 and then you ride rest of the day you know and then we were there was a breakout mid of the day over 64 that's what i told everybody about the 64 breakout next target i gave them was 6450 the final target i gave everybody was 65 and mtf right so you see that the targets i'm giving even during the midday i'm giving them 64 target then 65 target then mtf we ended up touching 6570 right if you took at 62 and if you used my pre-market analysis and planning there was a nice gap and go to, uh, trade and you see that mtf cloud is always our resistance look how it faded back from mtf clouds that's why we all have target it's on my swing watch but we'll see what market does but uh, uber was another winner in the community today let's look at the next one the next one we're looking is sava so sava was our short in the community here you go let's see um i, I think sava was on my day two or day threes let's go there yeah sava was on my day two day three 35 was support 39 was the resistance 42 was resistance i provide this day to day three setups in the pre-market as well so that people can watch these levels so as soon as sava started to break that 35 i told everybody it's a short watch any pops to 3650 and short it you see that after i said it it did pop to 35 and then it rejected then it faded all day to 26 bucks it was almost eight to nine dollar short um for us on sava right my first target was 30 my second target was 28 both of the target met on sava short beautiful beautiful uh, short trade you know in the past we longed it from 10 as well let's look at another loser today which was which which was kind of didn't do much i mean i was expecting more from arm so this was our arm you can see the candles how tight how choppy they were all day right so if i show you the my pre-market plan that how we lost money on uh, we didn't lose much but you can see that arm pt to 130 breakout was on 114 and the support was 111 and it did break out it did amateur move and it pushed it pushed to 117 and pulled back we were holding the longs and then it started to do this choppy 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 action it could not get out of that range and when it kept doing that and that's when you know i closed it because it was you know um you know just doing too much i mean we did have like 112 area support but this was not enough move and there was no liquidity and all day it was just stuck in such a small range it never traded such a small range this suppressed it and and you know now it's gapping down so that was another loser in the community all right let's look at uh, our uh, next one we're going to look at is uh, arm oh, no sorry and nvidia let's look at nvidia so nvidia guys today was a long so let's see my plan so i told everybody versus 103 um, mtf long uh, watch that and then uh, you know so let's see if i think i just have something else on nvidia as well let's see if i can find that uh, our levels so yeah these were our levels on nvidia amd 135 101 102 area on nvidia but anyways when i saw this swipe back up you know when i saw this swipe back up 
and it pushed and you know that was the long and then it started to push over MTF cloud that was the long and uh, and then you long here push tonight to 106 pulls back 3450 is still your risk this was when market was pulling back and then you know you hold it all day as long as the cloud hold so that was Nvidia you know my main interest was to trade it over 3450 but it was not enough uh, big move but definitely was a long all day Let's look at PLTR. So PLTR was also on our watch list today this morning. PLTR was bearish to start the day, right? So the plan was bullish versus 25.50. So I gave everybody this level, 25.50, no long under it. And look what it did. It pulled exactly back to 25.50 and then bounced here, curled and ran all day towards our target, right? So I told everybody no long yet, 24.50 level to watch, bouncing of MTF clouds and then it curled and it was a nice long trade in the community. You just have to watch the levels that I'm giving you and you see that how my 25.50 level that I gave in pre-market worked so, so precisely, right? You see this, this zone, so that's what gave us the bounce. That's where you long, B minus long, and then you add your long and you trade it. 3450 calls. Let's look at some of the day two levels. I'm gonna talk about a bunch of day two levels. JP Morgan, watch this level, 196.39, DXCM, 73.32. Then we also had another one was, was Chipotle, was 52.78. All of them, you know, pause your screens. You see JPM, as soon as pushed over the clouds, it was a long. DXCM, as soon as it pushed over the day two levels I gave, it was a long, so was Chipotle, right? So those were simple, simple setups for us was JPM, the target was 200, and then there was CMG, then there was our uh, other one was, um, uh, you know, DXCM. So you guys, these are just repeatable day to day three setups that a lot, lot of people in the community trade every day. So you, you know, it's, it's, it's always good to keep eye on day to day three setups. Another other one was a low float was a big winner today was Lumen. I did not do my full full watch list on the long side, but uh, Lumen I gave in the watch list in the morning and I had set some price alerts on the breakouts. So uh, and I did uh, mention in the low float channel that I am longing it myself. Let's see if I can show you if I can show you here. I was saying it. So. Uh, Anyways, but anyways, we, you know, I usually talk, discuss it in more in the low float room than discussing it uh, here. But so Lumen was on, a, was on our plan because it's a repeatable. If you do not know how to trade low floats, just watch my repeatable, uh, um, you know, webinar on the low floor uh, trades, right? So Lumen was our breakout over this uh, 35, you know, this, this flag. And you see there's a prize alerts coming in. 420, 424, I was on the voice. I told people that it's flagging, it has more room. Then we broke the flag and then the target was fives. So um, you can see here, okay, let me see. I'm just gonna take a price of this out. So you can see 450 target, 475 target, 475, five target, 520 target. And then I told everyone that Lumen can squeeze over five after hours. And then it did go at nine. I cut it because there was earnings. I did not wanna risk it, but it was a lot of traders in the community did really good on Lumen, which was one of our big winners on the long side. You can see Williams guidance. And then you, um, you can see that, uh, you know, I was also long here. You can see my comments there as well. Beautiful trade today. Love some of this big. The volume was key, guys. So look at this volume. The volume trade, you know, Lumen was uh, 300 million today. This is just crazy. And something trades that much volume, it's going to short squeeze. So next one, we're just going to look at this. Many more we want to look at, but I just want to focus at Lily. So Lily was our day to set up. Uh, there was a news that I put in the notes. The breakout was... Uh, you know the 781 793 and lily started to push over the 793 mtf clouds and then lily pushed to the nicely to the uh, targets of 800 you know people we were trading in the community on the floor there are a few other setups in the community today first solar was another day to day three setup which was nicely long so um so that was our day to day three setups all right guys i uh, just want to do a quick Today there's another other plays as well to cover, but uh, you know like TMDX was another long I didn't cover, and there was some market plays that really went uh, crazy from our watch list as well. For example, this uh, this BLDR. Let's look at it. So this BLDR, 
was a nice long winner i said that bldr short under 138 long over it and you see bldr turned bullish over 142s and then went on to go to mtf clouds just repeatable setup guys anyways decent day today no complaints spike qqq was taiwan semi was good uber was good sava short was good small losers in celh and arm choppy loser otherwise a decent decent day will be fun tomorrow if you want to trade with us join the community do not come for alerts just come for uh, guidance. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.